Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. So the power move continues. Remember, keep in mind that the NASDAQ here is at all-time highs. So when you get to all-time highs, you do have kind of that sky's the limit. Um, you know, there's not a ton of resistance here, right? And we just fired off a squeeze. We'll take a look at some extensions here. So from here, you can see today we got to this level. These levels are strong. We have been pausing here today, but the question is, is this, you know, is this a place where ultimately the market gets rejected and we roll over and die, you know, after the two-day reaction, or is there something more here in store that we could see? And if we do an approximate uh, 1272 extension. You can see we're kind of close to that. And if things really get going, we could get up to the 1618. I mean, at this point, when you get a market that's at all time highs, uh, even if there are many things out there that may not make sense, there's nothing to do but kind of go with the flow and buy the pullbacks. Okay. So, what kind of what stocks do I like here? Um, Google, new all-time highs today with a squeeze. The squeeze hasn't even fired off yet. I think a conservative trade here would take it back up to the tree line, and then from there we could potentially get up to 840. And the other one I like a lot here is Twilio. And then Twilio here did, essentially you got a squeeze eking up to new all-time highs. And if we look at it, this from the extension level in terms of a 1272 extension, that takes us to about $71. So that's a that's a healthy move from here. And it would also line up in terms of a symmetrical move. You know, if we look at kind of this crazy move here, and we, uh, ah, that was not what I wanted to do. Hold on here. Okay, I accidentally uh, undid the Fibonacci's, and all I wanted to do was get this line. So you can see this move here, and you know if that same line kind of move unfolds here, it would take us to the 618 at 77.22. So I do like the idea that over the next week or so we could get into the $71 level here, which is the 1272 extension. So for this, we got the October monthly $60 calls and the $55 calls. Uh, we went out to the October monthly, so we didn't have to worry too much about theta decay because the implied volatility on that one is pretty high. And then if we go back here and we apply that same logic to Google, and we also add the extensions uh, in addition to the voodoo lines, you can see we've got here is the high, here's the swing low, and the, uh, the 1272 extension lines up almost um, exactly with the tree line. So that's obviously a good target there. And then a 1618833. So one question that comes up is how do you manage this? Well, I just place an order to sell half my position slightly below this level and then another one slightly below this level. That way it's like if we do, especially if we gap up in the morning or anything like that and we slam into that level, my order is sitting there and ready as opposed to you know waiting and seeing what happens. You know, Know your levels in advance and pre-plan pre those levels in advance, and it just makes this a lot easier. And then, of course, some other big names that just rocketed higher today, namely Amazon. Uh, that is one that we had and closed out a lot of it into uh, here with the idea that we'd buy that pullback. Of course, it didn't happen. So stocks like that that are cruising along uh, are going to continue to help the NASDAQ out very, very much. All right, that's what I got. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you at the next update.